Good morning. This is the part fourth of chapter twenty six. Things around us. At the end of this module, you will be able to explain what are physical and chemical changes. Differentiate between physical and chemical changes. Identify changes around us. Physical and chemical changes. Look at these leaves. The first leaf is fresh and green, while the other is dry and brown. Can we make the dry leaves fresh again? Well, we cannot do so, and that is because the leaf had undergone a chemical change that cannot be reversed. All the changes that take place in our surrounding are either physical or chemical changes. Let's learn more about these changes. When water is frozen, it forms ice. However, ice and water are made up of the same type of substance that is water molecules. It, this means that freezing just changes the physical form of water from liquid to solid, but the molecules inside remain the same. Such a change, whether only the physical properties of the substance change and no new substance is formed is called a physical change the formation of ice can be easily reversed by heating the ice to form water most physical changes can be reversed melting of an ice cream chopping of wood bending of a wire breaking of a glass and breaking of a pencil are physical changes now look at this log of wood even after being cut from the tree the wood remains same but what happens when this log of wood is set to fire upon burning the wood changes into ash ash is a new substance which has different chemical properties than wood and it can not be changed back into wood again such a change whether chemical properties of a substance change and a new substance is formed is called a physical change chemical changes are mostly irreversible burning of paper rusting of iron cooking of rice curdling of milk and ripening of fruits are chemical changes so now you know about physical and chemical changes